Hi, Phil here from Revive My Ride, and in this video I'm going to show you how to steam clean a car exterior. And this will include how a car steam cleaner compares to a more traditional bucket and sponge method. Before doing a steam car wash, it's a good idea just to blast down the car exterior with a pressure washer or a hose, just to remove any loose dirt or debris that's sitting on the surface. And if you've got the equipment for it, then at this stage you might want to do a snow foam pre-wash. It'll make your microfiber cloth last longer before it becomes dirty when you're steam cleaning car paint. In fact, I did a video on that, so if you're interested in snow foaming, I'll put a link in the description and it'll be one of the suggested videos at the end of this one. Okay, before we fire up the car steamer, let's have a quick look at that bonnet paintwork so we can see what it looks like before we start the car exterior steam cleaning. And as you can see, there's still quite a lot of uh, surface dirt on there. Now that's not just kind of sitting there on the surface, it's almost ingrained in the paint because if I do this, then my hands just come up completely clean. So what we need is a really good deep clean of this paintwork and that's where the steam car wash comes in. So on the left hand side, I'm just going to use car shampoo, a sponge, and then rinse it away just with normal water from the hose. And on the right hand side, I'm going to use the car steam cleaner to clean the paint with a microfiber cloth and no detergents. Okay, so let's check it out. So on this side, I've got Turtle Wax Big Orange Auto Shampoo. Nothing special, but you know, a decent brand. It said six capfuls in a bucket of hot water uh, for a very dirty car. So that's what I went for. And on the other side, I've got my two kilowatt steam cleaner, a clean microfiber cloth, and that's it. It's worth mentioning the reason I chose the Sealy car steam cleaner was it has a two kilowatt heater element and it has a two liter tank. In fact, the water tank in the Sealy is twice the size of its rivals at the same price point. And sure, that makes it take a little bit longer to heat up, but it means once you start the job, you don't have to keep stopping to refill it again. And that makes it a really good steamer for car detailing. Got my bucket of warm soapy water ready to go. And in the interest of fairness, I've got a chamois here and I'm going to use it to dry off both sides. Now, I'm not going to be messing around. I want this clean, so I'm going to go over it three or four times with the soapy sponge now. And now it's time for steam on the other side of the bonnet and you can see that's up to temperature and ready to go. Now regarding the car paint steam cleaning technique, you're better off working on a strip of paint that's as wide as your hand is long. So on most people that's 150 to 180 millimeters or six to seven inches. And that's about the right size for a microfiber cloth that's been folded over twice to fit into your hand. I've noticed a lot of people don't wear gloves, but I personally think it's a good idea just to protect your hands from the steam. And as you can see, the steam cleaning technique is to move the car steamer nozzle back and forth rapidly whilst working your way slowly down the car panel and following straight behind it with the microfiber cloth. Once you've got about halfway down the panel, it's worth inspecting your cloth to see how dirty it is and see if you need to turn it over. As you can see, just by steam washing the car in that small area, it's allowed the microfiber cloth to lift quite a lot of ingrained dirt. When you're steam cleaning a car exterior, you don't need to do any rinsing, but you are relying on the microfiber cloth to lift the dirt and hold it. And there's quite a simple technique to use in order to get the most out of each cloth. So you literally just start with your microfiber and fold it in half, and then fold it in half again. And as you're following along behind the car steamer, that gives you eight surfaces to use. So obviously that's number one, and then you flip it over. And then you can fold it the other way, and that gives you another two. And then finally, of course, you can open it up fully and then fold it back on itself. And that gives you another four surfaces to use. I tended to use a back and forth motion and try not to dwell too long in one position with the steam. And it's important that you wipe away quickly with the microfiber cloth while the dirt's lifted. So let's check the results, starting with the soapy water side. So when I feel the surface now, it does feel a lot cleaner, but you can still feel some imperfections on the surface, a little bit of sap or grit or something that's still on there. And that's even though I've been over it three or four times with hot soapy water. Now moving on to the side where I steam cleaned the car paint. I'm actually feeling really happy about this because it now feels really smooth. And it's clear that the steam cleaning has lifted a lot of the ingrained dirt and sap. 
However, the paint is still dull because although it's done that, it's not a miracle worker, so it can't restore the shine to the paint. But I'm happy because this is a really good base starting point for further paint correction because you need all the grit and dirt removed if you're going to do machine paint polishing. Otherwise you can introduce scratches. So in summary, I think the steam cleaner did a good enough job on a really dirty car, especially one that had sap from a tree on it, that it was worth me going ahead and doing the rest of the car with the steam. The machine I was using is a Sealy VMSC01 and I did the whole car only having to stop to refill it again once, so that's pretty good going. So in some ways this test that I did for my steam cleaner was a little bit unfair because it was just such an extreme case. I mean not many people have a car that's been parked under a tree for two years with leaves just left on the paintwork. And so what my car really needs is paint correction or what some people call paint polishing. And that's exactly what I'll be tackling in the next video where I get my car looking like this. And so if you fancy catching me for that video then please consider subscribing and clicking the bell and I'll see you there. And if you enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up it really helps my channel. And if you have any questions or comments at all post them below I always try to help if I can. Okay thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.